The Forms app makes it easy to get information from clients. You can assign forms to clients to explicitly request information, or you can set up always-on forms if you want to give clients the ability to submit data, requests, or tasks when they want to. To use the Forms app, click on Forms in the sidebar. Here you can see any forms you and your team have created. For each form, you can see the creator, the number of clients that still need to respond, the number of form submissions, and the time of the most recent submission. If you click on a form, you're taken to the Form Details page. At the top, you can search, export, and share the form. We'll go through the share flow a bit later. On the first tab, you can see the details of each submission. If you click the Actions button, you can export or delete the response. On the second tab, you can see clients who you've assigned the form to but have not yet responded. On the right, you can cancel the request. And finally, on the third tab, you can edit the form. We'll skip that step because the edit form flow is the same as the form creation flow. Let's create two forms. We'll start with one that has to be explicitly assigned to clients. We'll call it onboarding, and we're going to select clients can only see the form if you send it to them. Next, we'll add a combination of questions. When you're done, you can preview the form so you can see what it looks like to clients. Everything looks great, so I'm going to click Create. Now that the form is created, let's share it. In the Share model, we can share the form with a link, or we can select clients and send them an email notification. Let's enter their name so the clients get an email notification. Let's call this form Support Request. We'll allow multiple submissions by the same client and we'll make it visible to all clients. Now let's add some questions. Now that we've created the form, we don't need to share it with a client because of how we set it up. In the client's email, they'll see an email notification for the first onboarding form. Alternatively, when the client navigates to their portal, they can see one notification on the sidebar that corresponds to the onboarding form. Once on the forms page, you'll notice there are two form requests. That's because the second form, the support request form, was never explicitly assigned, and so it didn't trigger a notification. Let's submit both forms. Once complete, you'll see two form submissions marked complete. And because the support request form is an always open form, it can be submitted again and again, as needed. 